Hello there everyone, my name is Ren and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be continuing where we left off in Blue Arcade's main story, Volume F, where all miracles begin. Last episode, we did the prologue and the episode called Catastrophe, in which we saw Seiya and Kuzunoha's deal and also the Gematria boys alongside with the witch Beatrice had a meeting until Beatrice decided to um, betray them, I guess. Also, Sensei has been having dreams about the possible destruction of Kivotos, in which Seiya originally had been having. So they discussed about it and Sensei went to Rin and reported the dream he has been having. To which um, Rin surprisingly believed and tried to make an investigation about it. So uh, yeah. Kudos to Rin for actually believing in Sensei. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to see what's going to um, occur in this story. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Moe, head pets. Oh, I'm going to help the Sensei. Fisher in everyday life. Wow. That's always the honesty is a bang. Uh-huh. Hey. Kaiser PMC. I think I found it. You found it? Yes, I believe so. I've located some kind of underground structure measuring about 132 meters by 23 meters by 13 meter at specific uh, specified coordinates that must be it contact the general right away this is of utmost urgency yes on it and use the anti-espionage network to contact the chief of defense of the general student council too yes they're talking about kaya right kaya she is um chief of defense Hey, Shiroko! Hurry! Go, go, go! Yes! Kaiser PMC. The PMC troops are moving towards the desert? Mm, on an unprecedented scale. Whatever could they be doing? I wish they would have just stayed quiet. What Shiroko said is true. I've noticed mobilization of the Kaiser PMG, uh, PMC troops all over the area recently. Those jerks really think they can just trample down our district like it's their backyard. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm a bit sorry because I ate a lot of greasy food so in which I am huh, having a hard time trying to talk because of the constant burping <laughs> so uh, sorry about that <laughs> they must be doing something in the Abydos desert we have no visibility there since it's still considered Kaiser property you can survey the area unofficially undetected Shiroko, I love your enthusiasm, little one, but let's try to learn from our past mistakes. That didn't work well for us the first time either. You're right. I agree with Hoshino. Maybe we can ask Sensei what to do next. I would love to consult Sensei as well, but they've been especially busy recently. He might just be a butter. What nonsense are you spooming? Sensei will make time for us. Let's have some faith, Ayane. Sensei has always helped us whenever we needed it. They're right. Sensei wouldn't have messaged me to check in on how I was doing if they didn't care enough to help. You got a text from Sensei? Shiroko, you braggart! Don't rub it in our faces! 
I wasn't trying to brag about anything. I'm just reporting the facts. Hey, if Shiroko's happy, we should just leave her be. Although, I wish Sensei had checked in on me too. Don't worry, Hoshino. I love you. All the time. Let's see. <laughs> no way, Shiroko's so spoiled because you always leave her be. You have to lay down the law sometimes. Y you really think so? Um, I know. Uh, <laughs> Look at those big puppy eyes. How can you stay mad at her? <laughs> More importantly, what did Sensei say? Just as I was doing, it was nothing special, really. Interesting. Just out of nowhere, for no reason. You can get to the bottom with easy. I'll send Sensei an invitation to come to Abydos. That sounds like a perfect plan. Thank you, Ayane. Oh, Midori. This concept is no good. What? Why? I thought it was great. We chose a fantasy genre RPG with a combat system based around swords and magic. Yes, and? And the main character of our fantasy RPG is riding around on an intergalactic battleship. They're fighting evil space pirates. How is the main character going to rise up and defeat evil without a battleship to fight them? Warriors don't fly around on ships. They're warriors! Well, why not? I think Space Warrior has a really nice ring to it. <sighs> what do you think, Yuzu? Forehead! Forehead supremacy. Uh, it's not too bad. It has a kind of... Um, I don't know how to say that. By people like these things. See? I might, not, I might not know what that means, but, but she said it was super cool. You do, Yuzu? Hey, Arisu. I like the space warrior too. Arisu? Arisu, you're back. I was visiting the engineering department. They performed a simple physical examination and various health checks, but said nothing was abnormal. Veritas, Veritas has asked me to complete regular examinations like weekly quests. Th that's good. I hope you're feeling okay. What about that weird thing that tried to take over your body, K? Did you manage to find K? Do you, ever, do you ever pay your attention? Its name is Ki, not K. Stop sweating the little details. K sounds better than Ki anyways. No, we have not found K. We're just going with K. I guess it doesn't matter either way. The engineering department does not currently have the technology to identify if K is still inside of me, so Veritas is also helping me now. As long as you're okay with it. Of course she's not okay. That weirdo tried to turn Arisu into some robot princess thing. Don't worry, Arisu. I'll kick its butt if it ever comes near you again. Really, though? Are you okay, Arisu? I am good. The next time I see K, I will release my laser beam at 300%. No, I will do it at 100,000%. And I very much like Momoi's Space Warrior, a party of warriors on an intergalactic battleship. It is a good idea. You get me. I really love it because riding on an intergalactic battleship is my life's dream. Will I ever get to ride a battleship as well? I don't think that will be possible, Are Aris. What do you mean? The engineering department told me they were making a huge ship that can sail the skies with real fancy technology, like with Aris's railgun. There's no technology in Kibota's fancy enough for a flying battleship. It's a pipe dream that'll just leave you one thing. Hontoni? It is okay. Dreams are meant to achieve the impossible. I have learned this from my adventure. Aris is right. I'm inspired. Okay, our new story for the game is going to be a space opera about a party of space warriors. Yes, I like this idea very much. Let's change the genre to a volatile shooter with an extremely hard difficulty with no continuous or annihilation box. 
sounds like Toho. <sighs> I knew this was gonna happen. Okay. Princess, Hime, do you deny the very purpose of your existence? The purpose of mine? A key deprived of its function is no longer a key. It is rejected. Understood. You I shall keep watch over you from the shadows, Hime, Aris. But one day, you will reach the end of the road and you will no longer be able to deny your purpose. Aris, you will be forced to accept our fate. And when the time comes, Hmm. Aren't you uploading the worst of your task up of me, Ryo? First, you invoke the dangerous legacy of the nameless gods. Fail, and now you turn around and ask me to process and ally's heaps and heaps of data. Well, I suppose being remorselessly shameless after nearly causing the end of the world is the privilege of our big sister. You are blessed by my presence in your life, for I am as pure and beautiful as mineral water from an ice cap. I will benevolently, benevolently grant you a favor. Now then, Sato, what did you want to tell me? This. It's not concrete. It's an interpretation of speculation on top of a hypothesis, but I still see it. With this, I can empathize with your apparently paranoid delusions that led you to such drastic matters. I must admit, Big Sister is a big name for you indeed. I am nearly as impressed by you as I am by myself. The, the delicate genius beauty known for her mastery of the omniscience. I don't know if it's omniscience or omniscience. So, um, yeah. But you made up the omniscience degree. You startled me, Amy. How long have you... Ever since you were saying something silly about ice caps? Bruh, <laughs> that dead ice though. Wasn't the Super Phenomenon, phenomenon Task Force originally under the direct control of President Ryu? I know where that is. So, did the President leave us a message? I haven't gotten to everything. The most important data left is locked up in her black box, so it'll take me some time to sort through it. But the biggest takeaway is this, we must prepare for our supernatural phenomenon of a staggering degree. What do you mean? Considering it a warning from Big Sister. A warning that something ominous lurks on the horizon. What is our next course of action? Hello Toki. Yeah, how did you sneak up on me too? If you keep startling me like this, my fur picked face could form a wrinkle. The person that's exclusive maid. Toki? I have been here from the beginning. There are many places to take cover in here. Wow, that must be the skills of a special agent. I didn't catch a single hint of your presence. You meant go with the president? No, no. She told me to do as I please from this point and from this point forward and disappear. I'm still trying to understand what that order meant. I was hoping to find some answers in the place where the present resided most often when the two of you came. Hmm. Did you not join with the CNC after Rio's departure? You came from them originally, did they reject you? No. The senpai were the senpais were very kind to me, however. However? How do I say this? Ah, Narohodo, I understand the situation. I wouldn't have taken you for the shy type. Making friends may not be my strong suit, but if something dangerous is threatening Kibotos, that's where my talents shine. I can help. What do you think, President? One as wise as me knows better than to turn away a genuine offer of help. Arigato Kusaimas. Hehe. <laughs> Excellent. Our next steps are clear. Amy, we'll need to enlist Shale's help to move forward. Yokai.
so far so good. Oh my god, it's loading so slow again. Oh man, it's OST. Oh, Sakurako! <clears throat> oh my god, I think that was so loud. I'm sorry about that if my, your ears are... Well, yeah, everyone. Anyways, over here, I found it here. Sakurako, it's here. What a relief, just as we had hoped. The ceremonial dress of the Saint Justina Council, left here by the last council president. The last council president may have an oppressive leader, but she was vital in organizing their safe exodus to their district and even Arius's eventual revival. The dress should have been handed down to her successor, but instead she hid it away here in the Arius district. Why, of all places, did you abandon it here, council president? This district is saturated with the tragedy it has been forced to endure. Was this decision a manifestation of your guilt? Regret. Speculation will get me nowhere. As a, as a representative of their sisterhood, I will adopt the last, last will of the Saint Justina Council by the rights of succession. Yes. I can no longer stand by as the St. Justina Council's dignity is trod upon. S Sakurako, will you come look at this please? Of course, lead the way. Over here. This. Please summon the scholars of the sisterhood immediately. Yes ma'am. Something related to that hap to that happened in the Arius district. What? Uh, if something related to what happened in the Arius district, I think that's what's supposed to be the correct translation. It's just a typo, though. So um, yeah. The problem could be a lot more serious than we thought. Nagisa! Mika! XD! After three hearings, we have come to the following verdicts for Mika Misono of the T Party. First, all of Misono Mika's privileges as a T Party member are officially revoked. All the T Party benefits, such as private residences, private operating expenses and independent classes with special teachers will no longer be provided. Second, while we have accepted the Pater Faction's resolution, a question has been raised about Mis Misonomika's representation of said faction. The Pater Faction shall elect a new representative according to its ob own bylaws. However, Mika's authority will be maintain maintained until this representative is elected. Lastly, Misonomika's detention is suspended and she will be allowed to return to her status effective immediately. That being said, we remind you the gravity of your position and not step out of line. This verdict has been drawn after hearing the concerns and opinions of the Trinity student body and leaders throughout the hearing. Do you have any objections, Misonomika? No, I do not, ma'am. Do you have any final words you would like to share? Thank you for giving me a second chance. I will abide by your verdict. Good. This hearing is adjourned. Pugs, pugs, pugs. <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound effect, but yeah. Azusa! I have an important announcement. Hipumi Daisuki Ajita ni Hipumi Da Isuki Isuki Ta 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 ra ra ta ta <laughs> Are? Azusa? Hanako! The ludest of them all <laughs> Wait no, Koro is the title of that 
an important announcement. What? What is it? Why are you being so serious? Hello, pervert. Head fat. Listen closely. I've recently obtained top secret classified information through an intelligence dealer. We have never undertook a more important mission. The top secret? Intelligence dealer? <gasps> classified? Yes, this is a legendary item that's only ever existed in records. I have confirmed the existence and location of a Perorodzilla sap toy. <sighs> Perorodzilla? Take heed, Perorodzilla is none other. Perorodzilla? Asasa, are you sure? You're telling the truth? There is nothing the, in the history of all merchandise more legendary than that stop toy. The cargo ship carrying the flagship stock sank and it never released to the general markets. To make matters worse, the subcontractor that made the toy went bankrupt from, the, from this tragedy and went out of business. They never manufactured more and so they became, le they became legendary artifacts. It's like hearing the details from a Perorodzilla history book. Yes, people, you understand. All of the merchandise on that ship was indeed lost, but rumors began to float within the community that a few of the original design prototypes still existed. They unfortunately fell into the hands of evil, the dark correct collectors. But at long last, exactly one, one Perorodzilla stop toy appeared on the market recently. I, I never thought of that, but that makes total sense. B but that kind of item would be a luxury beyond our wildest dreams if all four of us pull pulled all our money ma um, <sniffs> money no we, sh we still shouldn't be able to afford it why am i being included in this okay thank you for me what can the only solution we have to is to uh we need an expert uh for that what in the world are you thinking what expert no you for me you can't you for me i must admit that gleaming rice is a bit terrifying right now you don't understand. Morals and common sense have no role to play when it comes to procuring legendary merchandise. No morals? Stop being crazy, Hippomi! Ya buy this, ya buy. I, I just wanted to go look at it. Nani? That's, uh, that's what I was saying too, duh! Is owning the stuff toy of great importance as well? Okay, Hippomi, if that is what you want, that is what we'll do. Eh? I have never received official training, so I will not be as skilled as the experts you wish to contact, but if we plan well and for all possible outcomes, our mission will be successful. Hold on a second, Azusa. Choto mate kudasai. I had a moment momentary lapse of judgment. It's not worth it. Uh, so this guy. I promise. I'm just happy I have the chance to see the legendary Perorodzilla stopped with my own eyes. Then we won't face another moment. Ikuzo. Hi, let's do it. Yara Naika. <laughs> How nice. We get to skip doing makeup work again. What is happening here? Nani kore. Choto mate. Don't leave me behind. Uh, did that notification got. Uh. <laughs> got in the recording oh my god i hope not this is it to think there were places like this so close to trinity uh i'm not here by choice you hear hello owner i hear the item is here bruh <laughs> you've come for the legendary item like a mod to the plane Naturally, we can't show up something like that to just anyone, but for potential buyers, is anything is possible. Doki Doki. <laughs> what the fuck is that? The this is. Hey <laughs> hey. Yes, I know. 
You must be amazed. This is the one and the only. The legendary Pero Rodzilla's top toy. One thousand the size of the real thing. This is not Pero Rodzilla. He's right. This is Perorosaurus. What? Nani? Wait, I should do an Indian accent for that. <laughs> um, isn't it basically the same thing? It's different. Completely and utterly different. The words of an amateur. Perorodzilla is a little chubby with a long tongue. Obviously, this is Perorosaurus. You can tell by the shape of the face and the costume. It's like comparing apples and oranges. They're completely different. W what do you mean? Do you know how much I paid for this? It's not the genuine article. Bruh, that was a bad Indian accent. <laughs> ah. Ah. I really thought we were going to see Perorodzilla. It's okay, Azusa. Perorodzilla will always be alive in our hearts, at the very least. <laughs> It'll be okay, you two. What's happening over there? I don't know how to pronounce that. I forgot the pronunciation. Resign the verdict. No mercy for the wicked. Hang the witch. Don't fire into the sky. No shooting the person next to you isn't allowed either. <sighs> Ichika. Oh my god, you're so cute. Uh, you're so hot. Uh, when are you gonna be playable, baby girl? Uh, sorry, I'm an sample to Ch Ichika, okay? Don't judge me. See that? See that smile? That's just so good. Isn't that a protest against the hearing spirit? I see. They're dissatisfied with the decision regarding Min Misono Mika's fate. It's been days! Days! Don't they have better things to do? Why are they doing this? Well, they have the right to freedom of assembly. With the Pater faction essentially leaderless, opposing forces are attempting to take advantage of the political confusion. Huh? On top of that, the Tea Party has lost too much of its authority over the school and greedy politicians are grasping for its power. And of course, some people are just to tossing stones amused to see where they might land. Hanako? In conclusion, Trinity is a festering den of snakes. I cannot agree with you more, Hanako. The Trinity mobs, especially the Pater faction. Ah! They're so... Uh, so hateable. Uh, Misonomika's life will be no cakewalk from here on out. She looks scary, but she didn't seem like a bad person. Of course you would know that, Kohar. You protected her. How do you feel about it, Asusa? Me? I... I heard that Mika helped Sensei rescue Atsuko. Not just Atsuko. Saori, Hiyori, Misaki. She saved everyone. I don't know who Misono Mika is, but for that alone, I could not hate her. And it is unjust for an entire crowd to be harassing just one person. Please don't attack them, Azusa, if you say so. But your heart is in the right place if only those people could see things from your perspective. Can those who refuse to embrace forgiveness or mercy find salvation, Azusa? I don't have an answer to that, but even if the results aren't guaranteed. We have to try our best, right? Oh, Koharu, you took the words right out of her mouth. Duh. Azusa's always saying boring stuff like that. How dare you say that, Koharu? Also, you're cute. <clears throat> How sweet of you, Koharu, to always pay attention when your friends speak. I know, right, Hanako? <laughs> Nani? That's not what I meant at all. I appreciate it, Koharu. I need to pay attention when you talk. Further our bond. We should take a bath together again. Okay. Calm down, my Yuri inhibitors. I love Yuri. Um, what are you saying? This is, warm this is warming my heart. I'd like to join as well. No way! You always make things weird. Stay back, you dirty person. Um, Look at the mirror, Coral. Arara?
Say no to the hearing. Punish the traitor. Oh, Natsu. Hello, um, Lapis Kid. <laughs> What's going on over here? What is this? Irene, did you get the light? The, did you get the place right? This should be right. Three o'clock at Trinity's fifth rear entrance. Yes, this is where they're selling the hundred limited edition chocolate ice creams. We even got here early since they're on a first come first serve basis. <sighs> Hello, Kazaza. How's your girlfriend, Reza? Um, I mean your uh, rival. Unless those protesting students are selling the ice cream, I don't think it's here. Hey, you there, angry ladies. Can I ask a question? Huh? We're busy over here. Wait, are you Mika supporters? Mika? Supporters? Nani? Not supporters then. In that case, join us. Don't you want to see Misono Mika pay for her actions? We'll finally see her what get what she deserves. Are you following? Nope. No. Oh, I understand. Misono Mika is from the tea party. Oh, where's the party? Stay focused, Irie. We're here for a limited edition chocolate ice cream, not the tea party. No, no, not the tea party. The tea party. Oh, I think I know this one. That's the name of our academy, academy student council, right? Huh? One Tony? What about you, Kazusa? Did you know about them? Should I? You didn't even open up the Academy's information brochure, did you? Ladies and gentlemen, the grim future of Trinity. You're talking real big for someone who thought Irie was talking about an actual party. You thought it was dessert. You thought it was a dessert club meetup, didn't you? Uh, she got you there. Well, anyways, I hear there's a beautiful princess named Mika in the tea party, but something terrible happened to her. That must be what those protests we've been seeing all over campus grounds were about. There were protests? I didn't really notice them to be honest. Paying so much attention to politics in all those higher ups isn't very romantic. I bet half of the people here don't even know what this is about. Th that's exactly why we need to shout even louder so more students hear our message and participate. What she said, I've never even met Miss Onomika, but it's fun to protest her. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, go to hell bitch. Oh my god, how could these people um exist bro? Even in fiction. It's bad enough here in the real world, why are you in fiction? Mm. More importantly, have you seen an ice cream truck? It was supposed to be selling limited edition chocolate ice cream. Oh, we kept them out because they were getting in the way of the protest. Kick them out? Do you happen to know where they went? Like I care. Look, if you're not going to join us, get lost. All this talking is distract- Detracting from our protesting? Uh, okay. Ah! Hey, what the fuck? Oh, you got the cat palug stare. Oh, the cat palug I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. The cat palo, that's there. Ah, arigato gozaimasu, Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Did you really just push Irie? Our? Irie? So what? What are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Jotomate, look, I'm okay. No injuries, Kazusa. Not to Yushimi, please. Kazusa, hi. When people's blood sugar falls slow, it can cause aggression, can't it? It can. Chocolate. Chocolate, where sweetness and bitterness coexist, is like a metaphor for life. So, everything that happens from now on is in the name of chocolate. You're spewing nonsense again, but I can agree that everything is because of the chocolate. Makes sense. Since we're all on the same page. Huh? Nanikor. Ah! Who do you think you are, huh? Hey! After School Sweets Gang is back. 
Everything is because of the chocolate. How rude can you idiots be? It's loud enough here to begin with, huh? Huh? These are the dangerous beasts low blood sugar levels can create, my friends. Everyone, please. What the hell is going on here? Natsu, reinforcement. Take that side. I'm on it. Can't fight during a pro this. Uh, it's already a disaster. Uh. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Soon the disturbance of the fifth rear entrance. Please send back. At least three or four. This isn't the first incident today. I feel I feel bad for you, chick. Come back. Ah, Mab Chan! JTF, uh, JTF Chan, uh, hello. Please, no more fighting. Everyone, kill skit. Ah, kill skit, eh? No, no, no. Ah, lepat. Oh, bruh. I. <laughs> My. Wow, I just, I really just spoke in my dialect, uh, I mean language, huh? Everyone calm down. Hmm, it's the best. I mean that Justice Task Force, run! run tayo! Let's get out, Irie, this way. Wait, everyone! What lies at the end of this conflict? These trials and tribulations. I do hope it's limited edition chocolate ice cream. With that, Adios. Stop your monologuing and run. Peace. Hey, that was a good chapter. Oh my god, there's a part three, bruh. Unfortunately, I have to stop right now because otherwise the recording is going to take up a lot of my storage. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that and I could be a lot better in the future. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>